Hi friends, this is Audi One, and you're watching part four of SQL Lab series. For those who are watching this for the first time, it is strongly recommended that you go back and watch the other three parts. The links are mentioned in the description below. Thank you. Let's start. Well, in the last series, in the last part, we had seen that our first objective was to fuzz, and in the fuzzing, we try to break the query. Then the next step was try to understand the logic or try to understand how the developer has made the query in the back end. Try to figure out the number of columns being used by him and try to guess how he has encapsulated the string or the integers. Once it is done, then we try to fix the query by providing extra comments or the second way by balancing out the extra quotes that we put in. We'll take the quotes part later on, but for now, the comment section. Let's go back and try it out once. Let's open up and let's go to lesson one. ID equals one apostrophe union select one comma two comma three hyphen hyphen and a trailing plus if this is an the first part is invalidated then the second part will work we saw that and we were able to iterate and figure out database name current user the data dir path and henceforth. Before continuing on enumerating the complete database and dumping all the information from the database to the screen, let's do some SQL basics and try to understand some parts of SQL. I'll use my SQL command line to com connect to it. Hyphen u root hyphen p tour so we are connected let's check the databases show databases there are many databases that I have it depends on how many databases have been set up for for the purpose of these labs the database name is security so let's see that use security Now if we see, we can check the tables, show tables. There are four tables and let's check what is in the tables, how the tables are structured. Description, name of the table, and so forth. This information we want to retrieve from the front end, that is through the web page. But before continuing, let's try to understand a system database that is called information schema. When we do short databases, we see a database name called information schema. Let's use it. Use Now let's see the tables inside. As you can see, there are many tables in. We have a columns table, we have schemata, we have 
tables, table and many more. But actually what is this information schema and how can this help us? Well, with version 5 and above, this is added up in MySQL and it contains the schema or the template, you can say, how the data would be written or how the data would be stored or how the data would be uh, put together. So schema can be compared to a generic template. Like when we create a PowerPoint presentation or when we do some other work, we use some templates to start our work. Same way schema could be considered as a template, how the data would be held in the database and so forth. So we will use this system table or the system database in order to enumerate and dump what we want. Let us first build a query inside MySQL. Let us say for now we just know the database name from the web part. The database name is security and we have to enumerate the tables first. What all tables are contained inside the database security? Let us do it in the back end first. Select table or let us first see what is contained in the tables table. If you see the tables table, we have a table name, we have a table schema and that is what we are looking for. So let us use it, select table underscore name from tables, but let us uh, do the complete syntax, information underscore schema dot tables where table underscore schema equals security. So it dumps us the table names. Let us do it here. table underscore from information underscore schema dot tables where table underscore schema equals we can do two things we can either provide name security and we see the first table name here emails or we can also use the function again the same output now to iterate more we can use a limit function now we got the refers if we do more we got u agents and if we do more we got the users so we were able to enumerate all of them. If we try to do more, let us see, we do not get anything out. That means there are only 4 tables. There is another way that we can just group together all the table names and dump it out as a string. So we can use group underscore 
concat we got all the users all the tables let's open up a session and let's put database equals security tables equals and let's copy them and let's start to enumerate the columns same way we can go back and check the columns table description columns so we have the table name we have the column name so we can build the similar query select column underscore name from information underscore schema dot columns where table underscore name equals users it dumps out the columns let's try this in here so instead of table names now we can use column names column name from information schema dot columns now we say table underscore name equals users exactly the same information is on the screen let's try something else u agents so it dumps us id u agent ip address and the username similar way you can iterate and you can dump the other tables let's go on and dump the data because right now we know the table is users it has three columns so let's do that so we can say username from now we don't need any of this users so the query simply becomes select username from users let's see and it dumps us all the users well we can group concat different columns and dump the output in a single shot but just for the sake of simplicity let's do it separate so you can see dump is the user dump is the password angelina is the user i kill you is the password dummy with the password secure with a password crappy and so forth so again if you have observed it is very trivial and it is very important to understand the functionality of the underlying database the more comfortable you are with the database and its functions the more easy it would be for you to understand it's not that you have to be a specialist on the database but it's important to be familiar with the common 
functions with the common commands. So with this we can just say that we finished the error based SQL injection for the string. Why it is called the error based SQL injection? Because in this our focus was to just observe the error thrown by the database server and try to learn from it. Now coming back to the second part. Imagine that we we are not able to comment out the query due to many reasons, maybe due to some intricacies, maybe due to some kind of filters or maybe due to some kind of could be anything, the underlying query structure or anything or the database driver being used and we have to just balance the extra quote we put in. That we will cover up in the next video. Thank you for now. And guys, I would request you to leave a feedback. That feedback would help me improve and produce more of the videos. Thank you very much. Bye.